Postman is an application for testing APIs. By sending a request to the web server and then getting a response, it allows us to test our API endpoints. So for example here, this is my endpoint, I'm going to be utilizing get, go ahead and press send, and the data is returned. In the tutorials that we have covered APIs, we have been utilizing Postman and I've taken you through the basic process of setting up headers and body and getting and posting data to our API endpoints. For some people, downloading additional software can be seen as an inconvenience. So that inconvenience might be solved by utilizing Thunder Client, and this can be accessed directly from Visual Studio Code extensions. So if you go ahead and install this, you'll be presented with a new section here on the left hand side, Thunder Client. And from there we can access similar type of setup that you'll see utilizing Postman. The basic setup here, press new request. Let's create a new request to test an API endpoint, press send. There we go. So we've got similar options here, get, post, put, delete, patch, head options. So these are the type of requests that we can perform. And here we can, like Postman, set up the basic authentication options. We have headers again and bodies. Now here, this software is trying to be intuitive in it's providing us a, a lot of different values that we can easily access quickly. And that can help us save time writing uh, different options. Uh, so some popular options you'll find from the drop downs in the headers and also etc. So that was one of the features of this tool in that it's providing some intuitive drop down options for us to set up our parameters in headers and bodies etc. So here for example we could run a test so maybe we want to run a simple response code test so it should equal for example 200 this status uh, so let's go ahead and do that and you can see now we've got a test result test result is passed so our endpoint is active Again, similar to Postman, we obviously don't want to uh, keep replicating manually. So we do have an option where we can save to collections and we can create a collections of tests that we want to save. So we can create a, a new a new collection, say called Django, um, save. So now in our collections, you can see we've got some endpoints that we were testing or trying. Of course, the main benefit here is the fact it's all integrated with Visual Studio Code. So there's no having to download additional software to run these type of tests. And you can then easily flick between your testing your APIs and then developing your code. So one of the biggest sticking points moving across from a known piece of software that you've been utilizing to a, a new software, which is doing roughly the same type of job, is the fact you've got everything set up here on the original application. And I'm reliably informed that you can port everything across over to Thunder Client. So again, maybe that sticking point isn't going to be as difficult moving across in this case, if you did want to move across to Thunder Client from Postman. Overall though, I would say that Thunder Client is well worth having a look uh, for utilizing to test your APIs.